I won't beat around the bush. There are people dumber than you making a lot more money than you. No longer does your academic intelligence have any correlation to your income. I was never a very smart kid growing up in school, never got A's, very rarely got B's. I was a C and D student, dropped out of university and my teachers, you could tell, kind of never really had much faith in my, my ability and they weren't, they weren't really wrong when it comes to, to traditional education. Mm -hmm. But fast forward some years and now, without sounding like I'm bragging, make more money per month than a handful of teachers' entire annual salaries combined. And it's not because I'm 20 times cleverer than them, which is why I earn 20 times the amount of money that they do. That's definitely not the case. So why is it that people that aren't necessarily overly intelligent are making a lot of money? And you might be sat here watching this, you know, looking online and seeing kids, basically, young adults, young people making more money than doctors, lawyers, surgeons. There's a strange kind of thing happening in the economy where no longer is brain smarts being rewarded financially like they once did. And there's a new opportunity emerging. And it's not necessarily about thinking more. It's just about thinking differently. You see, people suffer from overthinking. And the reason that they suffer from overthinking is because intelligent people can't fathom that making money is that easy because it's such an abnormal thing to do to make large sums of money each month. So they think it must be, it must take an abnormal large amount of thinking to do. And a lot of like skill and dedication. And of course those things are required, but it's not about thinking more. It's about thinking differently. And you just need to shift the way that you think in order to start taking advantage and start earning more money. So one of the biggest lessons, I guess, in making money is simplicity. Simplicity scales, complexity fails. And generally, the more academically smart you are, the more you want to add complexity because it's in your nature, basically. And the, the people that are you know, maybe slightly more naive to a lot of things, they're taking the most simplistic approach. They're making things really simple and it works really well. And so I create this quick video for you today just to let you know that it doesn't have to be as difficult as you maybe think it is. You maybe want it to be because if you overthink it and you come up with this really clever, elaborate plan, it's going to put you light years above everybody else. And that doesn't really ever happen. What does work is solving a problem, solving one problem and solving it well for one particular type of person. And money is exchanged when value is created. Really important. Money is exchanged when value is created and value is created when problems are alleviated. So if we want money, we need to create value. In order to create value, we need to solve a problem. So basically solving a problem equals money and there's value that is transferred in the middle. So we don't need to overcomplicate things. We don't need to solve lots of different problems for lots of different people. We need to solve one problem for one group of people in one particular way. It's just one, just one thing basically. And that is really simple. And that is why there are people that are less intelligent than you making a lot more money than you. And it's because they're not overthinking it. So if you are overthinking business and you're, you're constantly maybe, you know, staring at a blank sheet of paper and you, you've got ideas running through your head 24 seven, that's a really obvious sign that you are an intelligent person, but it's probably hindering you. And you need to take a step back stop trying to overcomplicate things and allow the simplicity to work as it as it wants to and just don't don't overcomplicate things basically remember it's just you just got to solve problems business is all about solving problems and you only need to solve one problem basically if you want to find out how to take all of that thinking away and focus on solving one problem for one type of person in one way then click the link in the description below this video. It'll take you to a, to a page where I will explain what I do, how I make money, how my students make money, and how you can possibly too as well. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.